and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Xenonauts blindish playthrough of the hardest difficulty in the game. Time for us to jump right into the action. It is hot and sweaty. That's how I will title this mission. Oh yeah. As we have landed in the middle of the jungle. And tell me, what is more fun than exploring a little bit of jungle? Indiana Jones vibes as we are starting to explore. Not sure what you are looking for in the middle of the jungle, lady. But being here alone by yourself is a crazy. One shot. I was trying to subdue him. Didn't work out. Shattered Realm moves up, and thanks to the many, many stats that he has, it's 100% of a hit. Happy moves up, and we are down one enemy. pretty clear at this point on to which side we are committing pony moves over here has free line of sight and can shoot into this direction as well And the G just overwatches and dominates from the back. Good, this middle section here is a bit of an annoyance because it blocks a lot of line of sight. But I think we can still work with it. It would be cool to take a couple of uh, these cloaked enemies and actually get them. I think we have not yet caught a live specimen of uh, them. Good, solidly moving in. I don't know how much more jungle we're going to see in this direction. Wow, 10 shots. Okay, this guy is a full auto cannon. First time that we're seeing this. Shattered Realm shoots but misses. Happy moves up straight, hundred percent hit. Not a kill though. Wow, 
one more salvo unfortunately not successful which brings us to the G Fifty fifty, but fifty fifty for the G is a hundred zero really. He's the only person who can uh, take a piss from two meters away and never miss. I'm just making fun of course. I don't know if he can really do that. Tony moves up. And I think we're okay. Jim moves up as well. Anchoring down, and we're good. Good. as long as these guys are just running around happy ever after pretty sure that there are no enemies this guy looks like he had booked a vacation in the jungle and then all of the sudden shit broke loose and he just got a hunting rifle and it's like nah not on my watch Oh, that's a big UFO. That is a big one. Yeah, doesn't really work. I was hoping we could remove a lot of cover, but we cannot. Can't also move through water. Which, to be fair, is not surprising. Looks like no one is over here, which is fine. And we want to go in from the front. Move up, move up. Move up. All right, Dilly moves up as well. And I think we're good. Let's just not move in too fast. Good, as long as this guy is running around, there is no one back here. Enters. Knows that something is up.
Gym. Shattered Realm. Happy. Our grenades with Uncle Uber. Move in carefully. Billy moves up all the way. That's a very, very straight line that he can take shots from. Okay. Enemy is, as always, just hunkering down in their UFO. Good, careful advance. Another heavy, hmm. But just in case. Don't want to deal with anyone from the back. Big fat laser. Ready, steady, go. Knuckle crack. As we're awaiting finally the entry. Is the friendly going to go into the UFO? I wish they would. Gosh, you're fucking kidding me, right? I wish they would think about a little think a little bit more about uh, the AI, right? Why would a civilian go and open a UFO. Why? Exactly. They would not. Damn it, not a single hit.
One, two, three. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. Well, that is triple damage. Can't really argue with that. Okay, everybody is sort of suppressed. Oh, great. The, the other civilian just blocked our shot. Okay, as long as that healing stupid thing is there, can't really kill anyone. Well, we can. Just takes more effort. Good EMP damage. The thing does not like EMP damage. But unfortunately, it's still protected. That's a problem. Tilius was on the front line. Okay, right here. Good, couple of things. For starters, suppression. Thank you. Then. Let's hit this guy. Nice little explosion. Additional damage. And I think that's already it. Little bit of extra damage. Down. Good.
moving in. Epi Heals We take a shot oh, That is unfortunately not good enough Did he stays back? Happy oh, doesn't have ammunition. <laughs> oh no. Twenty-four. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. Open a little bit up. We're down. Got one overwood shot, and that's pretty much it. He is suppressed, though. And did not have a great weapon. The healing drone is nasty. If you're anywhere near it, it'll become a problem. It's done for 12. And we have the rest scientist under control. But where is the rest? Oh, 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 these are these are teleport pads. Didn't appreciate it when I first saw them, but now it's clear as daylight. I cannot unsee it. Good, nice little reload, and we're getting closer. I like it. We got one of them unconscious, which is fantastic. Got a few bruises here and there. Not so good, but I think we could live with it. It's a good result so far. Good. Time to breach on level 2. We might need one more turn to get everything in order. Good heavy weapon. Uh, 
and we're going in with an assault. Everybody's close enough. Snipers are in a great position. Let's just double check the ammunition. Enders, take the stand baton, just in case. Reloads here. Ammunition good, okay. Might as well reload smoke rounds because we're not going to use explosives or very likely not going to use them. All right. Seems like a good position. I'm hearing one of these hovering things up there. Enemies spotted. Plenty of enemies spotted. And we are suppressing them. Very good. Enders. Moves up. It's the stun baton. And teaches this thing a lesson. Bam! Bam. Another shot. Alright. A lot of bam bam, but not enough. Very good. It finally fell down. Double hit. And that's a kill. And we're done. Very good. Very, very good. We even got one of the steering... Um, the steering brains for free. It should advance our UFO tech quite a bit. Good. After action report, a couple of injuries, but nothing major. <laughs> and LEG only gets minor upgrades because he, I think, does have so much to hit already. So we're going to see a slowdown here. But look at that. Colonel, 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 Major, Major, Colonel, Major, Colonel, Major. Mwah, our team is good. UFO Observer. Observers in alien craft appears primarily designed to research uh, and reconnaissance. Hull of the Observer split into two sections. Atop is a small source section. Contains extensive array of sensors. Um, okay, however, it seems to be safe for Zoom. Blah, 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 blah. In combat, Observer uh, poses interesting challenge. Thin armor and a relatively fragile hu uh, hull, but it is fast enough that we effectively struggle to close on with it. Interesting. We can interrogate a wrath. So yeah, mantid, uh, mantide and wrath. And the reaper is, I think, what we're currently already having. I'm not 100% sure how that overall endgame progress works, but certainly the interrogations and the plot are working towards it.
Anders has a few less hit points, but I think we're fine. Alternatively, we have a couple of other shields as well, right? JP Pauly, for instance, only captain. Might as well give him a shield and uh, let Ender Sanders chill for a while. Good, because believe it or not, we do have a back to back to back to back to back mission. Warden Armour to of this and a little bit of uh, stun baton which I start to appreciate more and more and two flashbangs to uh, two times normal removal that's well, actually a pretty damn good loadout I'm going to go with the stun baton Natalia can always keep that extra sniper rifle around, which is fine. I don't mind that. And let's check something with Dilly. He has 99 accuracy, so he's now progressing slower. Is anyone having any anything on a hundred? Shattered Realm had high values. Yeah, reflex is a hundred. Okay, listen, that's pretty damn good overall. Now, we do have another fresh site. Don't want to just let anyone collect the bounty here. I much rather launch a team and just go for it. I'm wondering, like, all of the stuff that we collected, does that give us... Well, the corpses alone should be plenty. See Wrath Corpse here, for instance, right? Okay, so that in itself gives us like a lot of funds. Enough to actually start the laser ammunition. Which is one of the upgrades that I crave the most. Advanced laser rifle. Five shots, plus one per turn. Okay, cool. So it's automa really automatically reloading. That is not bad. Advanced laser rifle. Not, a, not exactly sure if we're going to then also have an advanced precision laser. But... We haven't had the option to really get anything done right the one weapon by the way that we have not yet researched for is the laser or that we haven't built is the laser shotgun shotguns seem to be a bit odd in this game i would say they don't really have a great place it's very very difficult to get into short range and why would you want to be in short range to begin with there's almost no advantage for being in short range. There's a lot of disadvantage. Base upgrade here, another 500 grand for quicker, for quicker production wouldn't be bad either, but we can't just upgrade everything. We need to be picky. And I think alloy plating is good. I want that. And then we want plenty of guardian armor. 
that's a good one as well. In terms of research, Reaper. I think we're just going with uh, the Wrath and the Mantid next. Because the 15% damage bonus essentially means if you have interrogated all of uh, the aliens, you're dealing 50% uh, more damage, period. And no matter which weapon you're using, it's just 15% more damage. And that's actually quite good. Also, the improved trainings rate isn't bad either. That allows newcomers to a better work through it. We had for a long time three trainings rate. We're already up to seven. And you gain apparently one trainings point for every 20 time units that you have spent or uh, moving in a combat mission or shot. So if you think about it, that's already like three full turns of training every single day apparently uh, three full turns of combat movement every single day so i would assume that that further increases the stats of all our uh, operators and using felix here as an example right Felix certainly wasn't on a lot of missions, so if we're looking him up here. He was on four missions and got a couple of kills. Uh, he, uh, as a shield guy, not necessarily his job, but you can already see, despite the few missions, he already accum accumulated 11 combat experience. And I think a lot of that has to do with the training. With a training regiment here 12 combat experience etc etc so of course compared to let's say shattered realm who does have like 23 combat experiences it's not as good but what are you expecting these guys are training and then are also having the missions so of course they will get uh, better uh, faster better or better faster so yeah i think that's still okay In terms of new soldiers, I would love to have a few more soldiers here. Something like this here. Oh, this guy is fantastic. Just absolute great base stats. Uh, Anna here, also really good base stats. And this isn't bad either. So I would potentially take those three. Unfortunately, we don't have the necessary living capacity, but I would take those three in order to kind of round up uh, the soldiers. As it stands, we do have 14 soldiers, so three more is 17. Maybe I need to even get m more so that we do have two full squads to essentially do missions on parallel. I don't know. For now, it seems like the tactic is working quite well, so might as well just stick with the roster that we currently have. And we do have quite a few kernels, so things are looking quite uh, quite good. Uh, next mission will be in the next episode. Uh, that will be the crash site, but that happens in two days. Thanks for watching, guys. In the meantime, uh, think about how much you like uh, Xenonauts 2, and let me know about that in the comments down below. Take care and have a great day. See you in two days. Bye-bye.